hello everybody and welcome back thank you for joining me for another episode of sydney hunter and the curse of the mayan we are heading in to the jaguar temple i believe is what it is we needed two skulls and we had five so we were doing good there's eight skulls in here and the three yellow gems i'm not sure how much we could find in there but let's go in here and see if we can survive if we could find what we need i would really like to be able to find most of them jaguar sun deity i also would like to see if i wish this screen would tell us how many of the items that were in the area that would be very helpful so i feel like kind of go back and keep track of that but we'll explore and see what we can find so where is the exit to this place oh i don't believe you'll be seeing the light of day anytime soon wait no there's windows right there i can actually literally see the light of day right now your fate is sealed unless of course you dare challenge the one we call x Exbalanik, I guess. This is his temple, and only he can grant you your freedom. Why don't I just jump out the giant window behind me? He sleeps in a tomb in the east wing of this temple and is feared by many since he's quick to attack. Well, why are you in here then? There's definitely a lot of fire and bats. We've had issues with bats before. Oh, there's a uh, pineapple in there. Ah, unfortunately, now I have to get it because there's the crystal. Oh, there's one of those. That's, we've already found one of the yellow crystals, which is good. I always have a hard time trying to figure out which way I should go in games like this. Like, should I go down or right there? The bats seem to kind of fly on their own until they see me, or do I get close enough to them? Oh, can I jump over the, yeah, there we go. Ooh, what's those? I kind of really would like to go in that one, but I don't have whatever I need. Behind me stands an obsidian wall. You will not be able to break through it using ordinary tools. I remember hearing about a mysterious stone that emits a strange blue glow that can weaken blocks of obsidian. Come back if you find it and the skull is yours. Huh, that's very interesting. So I need to find some kind of stone. It might look like we have to come back through some of these areas. That little rat just, <laughs> just jumped off the edge there. I do want to collect those though, or this skull here. There's just too many ways to go in these games. Ooh, safe spot. Always be saving. I would like to get that bat's attention. It's kind of what I wanted a year ago. I don't think I'll be able to get that yellow crystal or yellow Ooh, i didn't think i was gonna make that jump there for a second the yellow gem that was there oh yep that was a bad idea so if we touch the spikes we die i guess it's a good thing to know so we really don't want to kill anything in ah, bad jump i was gonna say we don't want to kill anything in the spikes because then we can't get the gem out of it And he's gonna probably no he stays up there okay Ooh, yeah. that guy was coming down at me at a bad angle I'm not sure if these blocks fall or not that's what I was thinking that they gonna fall over the fire Ooh, that doesn't look like fun either oh I need a red key I don't have a red key yet I don't think I have, I don't, oh yeah, I did. I got a red and a blue one already. I, oh, that's not what I was hoping for. 
Get up there. Yeah, my burn my biscuits. Not. We got scorpions too. In the. Okay. Oh well. I don't want to catch my hat on fire either. I would like to know it. Oh, there's another one of those. If we could break those. Oh, whoa. Ah. Uh, that was kind of scary. I don't like it when ghosts just morph out of the air like that. That's that doesn't bode well for me. And a spider that's going to try to follow my head and I don't have much room to kill it. They jump. There we go. Break that and then hit the spider. Ha ha. Look at that. I outwitted you, spider. And the flames. Ha ha. I wish I had a dash though. That would be really cool. Looks like there's all kinds of things going on over here. What was there was a pineapple, but there was I was gonna say there was something else up there too. Aha. I need that shiny crystal skull. I feel yeah. These yeah, the ghosts are like wait ah! I didn't even see that guy. Those ghosts are terrifying. I like how that one was sitting in that web in the corner. That was really cool. I feel that this is the correct way to go. It's going too far one way. Usually games will kind of, oh, I didn't expect that guy to come back for some reason. Well, was there a fireball that came out of that one? Let's wait for a second. <laughs> Usually games will kind of the dead ends will not be very long. So when you are fighting or trying to find the which way to go, Usually you go the shorter way. Oh Well, I can't go back Never mind. I can't I did that jump. I will not be able to go back Yeah, so usually you did like offshoots are short and then if you start going on a long Way a long path then you will you know that that's the way to go to the boss but I probably can't come back into this world, I figure, or into this room or this temple. However you want to phrase it, it seems that that is the way or the possibility, unless I find what I need for that obsidian right now, which I don't think will happen. Oh, oh frig. That scorpion just got me oh well I'm not doing good here Ooh. okay is the red key over here ah I just noticed that when I after I hit the door yeah. right, spider I need health like majorly right now me a pineapple we got pineapple pots Ooh, pineapple I need you come to me pineapple yeah I like the little sewer pipes there I, I don't know if that would be a did temples have sewers I somehow feel that like I don't know I feel that temples shouldn't have sewers not sure why I feel that way, but I do. Ooh, ooh, bat. Oh, oh, yeah. I wonder what that that item is probably gonna fill my health up. And I saw another one over there. I wonder if it'll let me grab two of them, or if it's like a one kind, one spot holding kind of thing. 
Do I have two? Oh, I do have two of them now. Sweet. That will prove useful. Okay. Jump, Cindy, jump. Oh, does not look like that is a possibility here. Come here, bats. I want you to see me in a level in which it would be easy for me to kill you. Because if they're too high and you like come, they'll come straight down to you. They come at an angle to get you basically. And if you sneak under one, they're gonna come down at an angle too steep for you to be able to hit them. I like how the fireballs go across though too. That's kind of helpful in letting you know when things are gonna fire. There's some more obsidian over there. Not sure to do that yet. Talk to somebody. Let's see what this guy have to say. Someone recently pushed that statue against the wall. I wonder if it is hiding something. Oh, okay. Let's not be obvious about it or anything. Oh, I got a key and a hole. What is. Oh, what is that? That's something. Oh, I almost bat almost got me on the head. Almost looks like I can go over that way some way. I don't know what that is. Another artifact or something. You found the Kaok tablet. It has a large crack down one side and there seems to be a slight humming sound emitting from the center. What is this odd relic used for? I don't know. Why would you ask me? I just, I just found it. I want to make sure that I get everything though. I know I won't be able to get everything because there is that one skull behind the obsidian. So I know that that's not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to get that. Oh, I really didn't want to grab that. Oh! Yeah, I'm gonna watch out for these bats. These bats are tricky! I gotta say, so far, the bats are the most difficult of the enemies right now. Up the ladder. I also like how the ladder has, like, some of these rungs are crooked. I think that's cool. That's quite some view from up here, eh? Eh? Yeah, the last adventurer who went through these parts kept using the word eh. So I thought I'd claim it as my own. I'm not sure I'm using it appropriately, eh? And no, you're usually using it appropriately. The Jaguar's son made quick work of him. It was terrible. I have heard so much screaming, eh? Jaguar's son, you say? Um, thanks for the tip. Ha uh, ha, like screaming was going to help him, right? I mean, eh, well, you go that way and I'll cover my ears. You don't have any, like, confidence in me, do you, buddy? Four rocks. I like those skulls are going to be very helpful. Oh, a safe spot. Yeah. And we've got uh, hopefully a red key. I was gonna say, I, I really hope I have a red key. Oh, and another one. Do I have three of those now? That's gonna be very useful. We'll try not to scream too much. Oh, he has that little face thing. It feels so good to be free from that calendar. 5,000 years too long. I am the sun god Kenich Ahu, and this is my time to shine. Ha, <laughs> sun god, time to shine. Puns. That's a good one. I'm sure you were holding on to that joke the entire time. Just waiting for the right moment to bust that one out, huh? What? Was it my timing? I thought the delivery was good. Oh, never mind. 
During the five unlucky days of Wayab, the gods are powerless. That is, of course, until I awaken them. Watch as I restore the Jaguar son's power, and I will watch as he shreds you to pieces. Ha 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 ha. You will not shred me to pieces. He has all kinds of little skulls there that I don't know what that means. Can I duck that? Can I jump over him? Oh. What are you doing? You gonna throw another fire three fireballs at me this time? Whoa! Can I not whip you? Oh gosh. Ah uh, no. Okay, I got I hit him. Uh, he kept running at me. Can I use that? A potion? I want to use the potion. Nope. <laughs> Oops. I did not make it very far there. Let's try again. I was wanting to use the potion, but he kept on running at me. I gotta figure out how to use that potion, though. That's going to be very, very helpful. You don't talk again, do you? Okay, good. Some games will like force you to go through that little intro again and it's really annoying. So he threw a fireball at me. Stop, did a little fire thing, jump off the wall. Go throw some more fireballs at, I cannot seem to. Hey, well, I hit him a couple times. That's good, right? Yeah, yeah, no. He jumped when I jumped. Oh gosh. I can't seem to take him on. I can't seem to find his patterns or whatever I need to do to get him killed. Kilt. I wonder if I'm collecting a new one of those every time. No, I still got three. What is it? I gotta figure out that the problem there is that when he's doing those three fireballs and the I'm ducking them But he, then he runs at me So it makes it really hard to like avoid his run And hit him There we go There we go. I gotta got a hit on him Hey, yeah, yeah. oh shoot Oh, got my health. Oh, it's only a one health though no. Got a bunch of them in there. Uh, can I choose this thing? Oh, I could do it there too. Well that sort of helped. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's just so bad so bad I Like stay away from him Can I just beat him out there we go? Oh, no, so close. I was like, can I just I don't know, what's the word for it? Hit him, uh, spam him. That's what, spam the button to win. How many do I have now? I still have three, okay. I can use them from the sub menu, which is good. And I'll probably do it that way. I was expecting it to fill all my health though. Maybe it's just, to be aggressive too. He's gonna throw that fireball. I'm gonna wait until he stops. Can I just? I'm just spamming it. Nope. Oh, okay. That kills me straight out. That's not good. I did not know that. I have faith in me here. I'm just getting all these gems every time. I'm not sure if it's helping or not. We've got to watch out for that little blue lightning or purplish lightning. This guy is definitely harder than the first guy. Now he kind of ran this way, did that. I need him to stop so I can just start hitting him. Come on, come on, almost. Okay, got a pretty good hit on him there. Oh, dang. I can't avoid that.
Trying to figure out how to avoid that blue ball thing. Or just make sure that I'm filled up with health and then take the two hits. Come on. Just wanna try to hit him a couple times without being hit. Oh, no, no. and grab that see if one of these yeah okay they only go so far that's good if i just stay away from dude no one, no one, no one die yeah there we go got him that time oh we got a huge piece of the calendar awesome and something happened to me <laughs> i hope that was a good thing that happened to me Oh, something's going on over there. Oh, the sides opened up. The the two sides there were closed off and now they've opened up. Now probably lead me off into other areas. More rooms or temples or whatever. I wonder what that that doesn't seem to do yeah it looks like there's other rooms and stuff around that i'm gonna have to go to how many of those little skulls do i have now 10. nice job getting back a piece of the hab calendar i heard there's been a lot of buzz lately at the temple of ah mazin cab he's the deity of bees and has always been close to kakulin K why can i not pronounce it cook ku cool can ku cool can i wonder if he's also hiding a piece of the calendar be careful his temple has a lot of water pitfalls that are certain death if you stay in the water for too long but bees don't like water so it makes a great hiding place if you're being attacked interesting i think we're gonna end the episode there i hope you are enjoying it I li I'm liking it. It's kind of was exactly what I was thinking that early computer style action adventure platforming kind of game. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye everybody.